What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. Thanks for tuning in to Game Informer. I'm your host, Alex Van Aken. Today, joined by Wesley LeBlanc. What is going on, Wes? Hello, hello. I'm excited to see some of this game. Heck yeah. I'm excited to see some Gotham Knights as well. Rounding us out and uh, the person whose footage uh, we are looking at here today, Marcus Stewart. How you doing? I am doing fantastic, or should I say bat-tastic? Oh, yes, Ooh. for sure, Bat-tastic. Uh, oh, man, look, look at Batgirl. Just, I love the gliding. I'm, I'm, already, I'm already eager to play as Batgirl. The other stuff, I'm not so sure, but Batgirl, I'm a big... I'm a, I'm a, I'm not gonna say a big Batgirl fan, but I am um, a an occasional reader of the Batgirl comics from the <laughs> okay. new 52. Batgirl curious? I don't know. What that yeah, means, yeah, maybe. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, like you mentioned, uh, this is my footage. So I uh, visited WB Montreal to play about two and a half hours of Gotham Knights. Um, I guess disclaimer, uh, you know they. They flew me out and, and, and paid for my accommodations just to get that out disclaimer. there. Important disclaimer. Um, so yeah, so I got to play as a, a pretty just an open slice of the world within the uh, first couple hours of the game. Um, I took the time to play as all four characters. I think we're only going to see Batgirl here today. Um, I also did a bit of co-op with one of the developers. And yeah, there's also an article up on the site now where I kind of break down some of the um, more uh, interesting fun facts because we got to interview the entire uh, the dev, dev team. So got a lot of uh, info out of this, but I will say a uh, flat impression so far is that the game is pretty solid. There are some rough spots that I'm a little concerned about, but I think some of them could maybe be chalked up to sort of pre-launch uh, maybe jank or like, you know, it's kind of making that final push towards the finish line, so we'll see. But as you're seeing here, the um, the action, I think, first and foremost, I think maybe people might think it's Arkhamy in the combat, and it very much is not. <laughs> um, oh, really? No. It's actually a lot mm. simpler than Arkham, which is weird to say, because like those games were pretty much just mash the punch button and dodge <laughs> all the time. Um, but, you know, you have a single attack button that does some very basic combos, and then you have one ranged attack that does the hero's projectile. So you saw there a little earlier, I was kind of throwing like shotgun-esque yeah. blast of like projectiles as Batgirl. Um, and then other than that, you're just kind of dodging and whatnot. And kind of the bread and butter for attacks are all the hero's special abilities. So the game kind of has like a fighting game style system where all okay. your attacks Ooh. build up a, a meter. You see there in the bottom uh, left, it's it's your momentum meter. And it's divided into two bars. Is that as, the uh, the white bar right there? Bottom yeah. left? Okay. And as you successfully nail, uh, you know, attacks and, and dodge perfectly, uh, you'll fill that meter up and then you can spend it on your abilities where you're in the little crossbar there and you'll hit like R1 and then whatever button your abilities are assigned to. And that's kind of what, you know, differentiates each night. So for Batgirl, one of her abilities that I liked is that she could summon this drone that kind of flies around and just kind of peppers enemies. So it's really good for like crowd control. Okay, um, yeah. Robin has a cool one where he can kind of like activate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you cut that out, Alex. I didn't. I didn't even know oh, that is so good. I hope you made yeah. this jump. Oh, he made it, everybody. Let's go. You know, trial and error, right? You know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Robin has a cool one where you can uh, activate this sort of like portal, basically, and just suck enemies towards him, which is really good for stealth if you need to bring someone uh, far away, you know, within your reach so you can choke them out. And, you know, Red Hat is one where he just kind of goes ballistic and just unloads clips of ammo yeah. into somebody. And, yeah, I will say the combat uh, was a little off-putting at first because it felt a little more... I hate to use slower because I don't know if that's right. It just felt less snappy than the Arkham games because I, the uh, the animations are... They're, they're just very animated. You know, you hit, like, a punch and then Nightwing will do, like, a whole flip kick thing. And so <laughs> it wasn't, like... I couldn't just like go nuts on people with the same pacing that I could the Arkham games. Okay. I eventually got used to it, but it was something that like took me a while to kind of fall into. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you think that think... works like as its own game or do you like find yourself wishing that it just felt like Arkham? 
I mean, I definitely felt myself wishing it felt like Arkham uh, when, uh, especially during the first maybe like half hour, where I was like, mm -hmm. okay, this is fine, but I kind of wish this was like that. But uh, WB, because like, I mentioned to the devs, I was like, this feels simpler by comparison. And they said that's by design because, you know, especially as a co op game, they want players to kind of fall into each character quicker and to not overwhelm them with like you know all the different abilities up front it also mm. is worth noting that i was playing with the base versions of all these characters there's an upgrade tree that you know you're going to be layering on new abilities as you earn points you know i unlock some new stuff during my playthrough but not a ton but they i asked them if it, if the melee gets any more complex as you go and they said that it did so you that's know, promising yeah we'll see i mean the 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 reasoning behind uh you don't want to overwhelm players seems a little silly but just because like you would think I would think like, oh, well, if people are going to like settle in as a character, they want to like explore them and like learn them and their intricacies. But I'm also not a game developer. So what do I know? Yeah. Um, but OK, OK. Yeah. One of my main concerns kind of uh, leading up to launch has just been kind of Batgirl seems really polished uh, in terms of like animations. Like I almost wonder if she was the character they've been developing the longest. Um, oh, interesting. Because if you look at like Red Hood, I, I feel like his animations are the least polished. Like mm -hmm. even like his walking animations and like mantling and stuff like that. Whereas Batgirl seems to be like the most like, oh, like, were you starting this off as like a, you know, it's almost like, oh, I'd love to have a Batgirl game. But <laughs> yeah. um, but I think she looks like her, her sequences from what I've seen look really polished. So hopefully that's just like a, you know, like you said, pre-launch thing we'll have to wait till the final game to see right. um but but yeah yeah sorry i interrupted I, i'm i'm just uh very interested in this game it's probably one of my uh more the games i'm most curious about coming this fall but we're we're watching you um walk through this penitentiary um looking at numbers on a screen tell us what's going on yeah so right now we are in blackgate prison we are on our way to uh have a conversation with Harley Quinn, who if you watched uh, one of the more recent trailers, you, you know that she's in the game and is, a, is one of the other villains, like the Court of Owls is the main villains, but some of the other more like, you know, classic Batman villains are in this game among like Mr. Freeze and Clayface. So uh, yeah, I'm beating up these guards here. And uh, the other thing I like about this game is that <clears throat> um, I kind of like the structure of like, so, when you're in Gotham, uh, so the game unfolds over a series of weeks. It's not like one night, like a lot of the Arkham games are. Oh, okay. And so it's sort of segmented where like, you know, you'll go out, you'll choose which mission you want to do. You know, you're free to do whatever you want of like, but you know, there's like individual arcs of like, so Harley has her own like villain arc. So, you know, you can engage with that as often or as, you know, little as you want. But whenever you're done, you know, doing whatever you want to do in Gotham, you return to the Belfry, which is the sort of like clock tower hangout mm -hmm. for all the knights. And that's kind of like your basically Mass Effect Normandy, like, hey, I'm going to hang out with the, the other heroes. It's where you switch which hero you want to be. And, you, you know, you talk to them, you sort of build relationships and kind of get into their, you know, individual like emotional arcs and as well as do all your like upgrading and equipment switching and stuff. And then, you know, once you go back out, that starts like a new day, basically, or a new night. The, you know, the game's sure. always going to yeah. be at night. <laughs> um, yeah. And I kind of like, I think that's kind of a cool system, you know, of like, okay, you know, I'm going to go out, do whatever I want to do. And then there's sort of a bit of a reward because I, I did enjoy some of the conversations and like, I'm a sucker for like, again, Mass Effect style, like, oh, I got a crew that I can kind of get to know. Yeah, and, you know, you yeah, go back and like, cool. oh, I'm going to go talk to, to Nightwing and see what's going on with him. You know, what's, what's you know, because, you know, trauma is like the big thing with this game. Like uh, the devs talk about how they each have their own sort of like, you know, ways of dealing with Bruce's death. And, you know, you'll see that sort of evolve and, and reveal itself throughout the game. So I, I am interested in that aspect. And I did like exploring the Belfry. There's some fun Easter eggs in there. Um, I won't spoil what they are, but it is a fun space to poke around in. Uh, so yeah, that's something that I am actually am pretty positive on. Awesome. Uh, uh, and I do have a question for you, Marcus. So it looks yeah. like enemies have levels yes. uh, to them. So these enemies are level six. When you're walking around this like this prison area, did you find that there are areas that were like, oh, I've stumbled into the level ten area, or 
Or are they all pretty much your level throughout? Um, not in this, but this is also a more story focused area. Okay. So uh, maybe it's tailored to, you know, like since this is like a critical thing, you're going to be good to go for it. But yeah. I mean, you do level up each night and you also equip gear to, you know, make them better. And the gear is pretty flexible. You can kind of wear whatever you want, but they do each have like elemental properties of like, oh, this is my my shot gear. This this has ice damage, you know? Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. the idea is that they want to kind of emphasize the sort of like the prep time aspect of Batman, right? You know, like, you know, that's something Batman always does. And he's, he's always tinkering with his suits and trying to wear the best thing for the best situation. And they did talk about how, even though you can kind of wear whatever you want and get by pretty well, the boss fights, especially towards the latter half of the game, will sort of reward you for like maybe wearing the best things to deal with a certain villain. Okay. Um, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Did you find, did you, how much of the like exploring of just the world did you get to do, or were you only doing scripted missions like this? Oh no, I was free to explore as much as I wanted. Uh, so like, what are you doing when you're not doing a main story mission in Gotham? So there are like smaller side crimes. Like there's like uh if you've played games like Marvel Spider-Man, you'll probably have a decent idea of like, okay, here's like a, a little icon. that's just like, here's a GCPD street crime. You can go bust that if you want. Here's some thugs maybe causing some trouble to like a victim. You go down there and beat the crap out of them. Uh, I didn't engage too much with those. I was kind of focused on the more narrative driven stuff, but I did see like other icons on the map that just seemed to be different versions of those. Um, you know, they're, they're not all going to be the same. Like, hey, there's just a group of dudes here, beat them up. Like mm -hmm. they were talking about, they do take, like the crimes take different forms. There's some uh, maybe like uh, car chase stuff and you know, in terms of the traversal, you have different options. We saw Batgirl, you know, can glide. You know, all four of them have their own thing, as well as your all of them have the ability to summon the bat cycle at will, you know, your little motorcycle. So if you don't want to grapple and jump around, you can just ride that thing as much as you want once you unlock it, which you do pretty early. Um, okay. But yeah, I'd say uh, so far, like, it, it was hard to get a full scope of like the variety of the side missions, but there are like other smaller things and actually one quick cool touch is that so unlike the arkham games there are actual regular civilians on the street instead of just criminals oh, oh that's nice um, and, and they actually react to you and they kind of uh and i mentioned this in my other uh written piece they serve a sort of a barometer of your progress as a hero because when batman's dead everyone's like not as trustworthy or like faithful that you can fill his shoes of like oh his bat kids are just not as good as him we're kind of scared <laughs> but as you progress through the game you'll see them like if you take the time to go interact with them they'll maybe be like oh you suck early on but then later to be like oh, actually you're okay i guess you're you're you know maybe you're not batman but you're getting there it, it reminds me a lot of the street level interactions in, in insomniac spider-man game oh that i like that a lot well sweet well uh, Marcus, when is Gotham Knights out and where can people play it? So Gotham Knights comes out October 21st. It is going to be available on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and uh, PC. And like I said, you can check out my written uh, article on GameInformer.com right now that goes into some more uh, other fun little nuggets that we didn't touch on in this video. Awesome. Yeah, everybody go and check that out. Um, Live now, GameInformer.com. I'm sure we'll have a lot more Gotham Knights uh, stuff coming up in in the coming weeks. The game the game is only a couple weeks away, so uh, yeah. Thanks for thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button and subscribe if you're new around here. Uh, and yeah, Marcus, Wes, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye.